Good morning, everybody. So it's Monday morning, um, which Monday around here is co-op day. And so Nathan, um, he still is off for part of his two weeks for paternity leave. So he actually has the 10 kids at co-op and I'm still at home with a baby. So I just grabbed my coffee. I'm gonna sit and enjoy some coffee this morning. So if you saw my postpartum vlog, that was last Monday, Nathan had taken all the kids to co-op so we are doing basically the exact same thing today. Um, so he has them there and he has to stay so that the little ones can like participate. Um, so anyways, I'm here with the baby and the baby's actually still asleep in my bed. So <laughs> it's like really extra quiet. So I'm gonna basically do the same thing that I did last week is just sit and enjoy the quiet and the baby. Um, Nathan goes back to work on Thursday. So I only have him today, tomorrow and Wednesday. Oh, it makes me so sad. I asked him, he doesn't have any more vacation time to take more time off. And it would be an occurrence because I was like, well, can you just take some time off unpaid even? Um, and he said it would be an occurrence, which means it would count against him. So I don't think that's going to happen. I'm going to talk to him again. I am so not ready for him to go back to work. I was like, even if you could just take Thursday and Friday off, that would be fabulous. I always feel this way though. He always says that to me. He's like, you never want me to go back to work. I was like, well, that's a good thing, right? Like, I like you being home. So, um, unfortunately he more than likely will be back on Thursday. Makes me sad. So, um, he does have, I think, a week's vacation left for the year, but we like to save that for Christmas. So if I keep my mind on that, it'll be fine. So I think today I'm going to plan a grocery list and a meal plan for whenever he's back at work and get some groceries. Pro probably not today, but tomorrow or Wednesday before he goes back to work. So I don't have to worry about that. And I've got a couple other things that I need to work on. I got to call Lowe's. Our new dryer that we got isn't working properly. Nathan just realized this morning we've had an issue to where it literally wasn't drying. We're like, this is weird. So we were thinking either it was the settings on the dryer or kids opening it too soon or whatever. Okay. Well, Nathan like monitored it for real this morning because he's like, something is going on and it's glitching y'all. I'm like, I don't have the patience for this right now. Anyway, so I need to call Lowe's and see about that. Whether, I don't know. Anyways, and another good news, I got a phone call this morning. So in a previous vlog where we took Camden to the doctor, I'd shared about him having either calcium deposits or natal teeth in his mouth. Um, the pediatric dentist that we, I made an appointment, I think the next day and they couldn't see him. Actually, this is what I was really worried about is that they were going to be so booked out and they were, they said, well, we're booked out to the end of December. It's like, I really need him seen before them. And she was like, well, with him being a newborn and with what it is, like she said, he needs to be seen before obviously the end of December. She was like, well, hang on. So she came back and she got me an appointment for December 19th. I was like, oh, thank you so much. Well, she called me this morning and was like, I can actually get you in tomorrow. I said, we'll take it which is good because Nathan will still be off so he can be at that appointment with me and hear firsthand, you know, what they're saying. My worst fear is that they're going to say that they have to remove them. So anyways, we will have that appointment tomorrow. So anyways, I got some phone calls to make, like I said, focus on that, but also just sitting with the baby whenever he wakes up. <laughs> I'm like, he's sleeping pretty good. Y'all, he's been the last two nights this might be the third night. It's like the newborn sleepiness is wake, wearing off. And he's waking up a lot at night. Hence my bags under my eyes. But, I mean, he goes right back to sleep. But it still is a lot waking up. Like, he's wanting to eat every two hours at night. I'm like, oh, dude. <laughs> we can't be having this. <laughs> Anyways, the first few nights, like, he woke up once or twice. And now I'm waking up four to five times. Anyways. So... I guess that's enough rambling for now. <laughs> um, I'm going to go call Lowe's. I really hope that they do something. Well, it's a little dark in here because I have all the lights off. 
<laughs> but I thought that I would just show Camden. Huh? He woke up rather mad, rather hungry. <laughs> oh, but he ate. And now he's a little happier. He's not completely settled. So he's only drinking like an ounce. And then like a little while later, he'll want the rest. I'm wondering if that's because of the teeth. That's just him. I keep calling them the teeth. I don't know that they're teeth. But anyways, we will find out more tomorrow, hopefully. Um, and see. But it seems like sometimes he has a hard time like getting a full latch on the bottle. And he's a dribbly mess. So, that is my thought process on it. Huh. He's like, I'm not so sure. Are you going to wake up? Are you going to say hi? <laughs> He's like, leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you, all nice and away. Hi. Say hi. What are you doing? <laughs> You can smile. You can smile. No? Are you going to be serious? Huh? <laughs> so we had to have a little wardrobe change. Because he spit up everywhere. <laughs> so I got him all. Oh, bless you. <laughs> so I got him all dressed up. I'm going to do some pictures. I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, how cute is this? <laughs> oh, I might be spitting up again. <laughs> Excuse you. Excuse you. You okay? <laughs> it's still a little bit too big, huh? That's okay, huh? You can smile. All right. I think Camden is finally asleep. He has been... A little fussy this morning. He has spit up a ton, which is kind of just like how he has been the last couple days. Um, he finally finished that bottle. Like he drinks a little bit, spits up a lot, drinks a little bit, spits up a lot. So um, he looks so sweet. Yes, he, I think, is out. He is very noisy. Like, <laughs> All right, so yesterday, Addison and Peyton um, decorated for fall. They did everything from getting the basket, the baskets, the boxes out of the attic um, and decorating. So I kind of, you know, gave a few suggestions here and there, but they pretty much did it all. And Peyton and Miley and Reagan, and Harper and Drew painted some pumpkins. So it started off with Reagan, not Reagan, with Peyton and Miley just painting pumpkins. I've had these dollar store pumpkins for like ever. It's perfect to give toddlers. We have repainted them many, many times over the years. So Reagan had painted this yesterday. Um, and I put them in a little wagon thing that I put outside. Um, but with Peyton and Miley painting pumpkins, that meant that the, top, the little ones wanted to paint pumpkins too. So that was eventful. Um, Drew. <laughs> Just picture Drew with paint. Okay. <laughs> it really wasn't that bad. Um, it all cleans up. So <laughs> thankfully. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what they did. Um, I'm quite impressed. I'm like, y'all did a pretty darn good job. Like I just kind of sat there. So I thought that I had a lot of fall decorations and I do, but <laughs> the way that, so they set up things differently, obviously than what I normally do, but I don't have very much for the kitchen. Um, in there at all decorated and Addie said that means that we just need to go to the store and go shopping so we'll probably go buy some more stuff for the kitchen <laughs> I thought that was cute she said we just need to go to the store she really wanted to go yesterday I was like I think we're gonna wait and probably go another day this week <laughs> so I'll show you the things that they did <laughs> so Addison did the mantle um, I always do hang that wreath there um, I made that like goodness I don't even know how many years ago a very long time ago but she placed some pumpkins and some greenery and a sign and then she put together this tiered tray I added the antlers but she did everything else and then this is a set of crocheted pumpkins I didn't make those I actually won those from another youtuber 
Um, and she put together this basket and the scarecrow. And then they did the piano bench, um, which I thought was super cute. They put all these pumpkins in here. <laughs> oh. So, like I said, and that was pretty much it because they used up everything that I had for in the living room and in here. So I do want to get some real pumpkins to place outside. So I'll try to do that this week. And um, I had to heat up my coffee because fussy, fussy baby, I didn't get to drink my coffee. Um, and I'll probably just pick up one or two things from the kitchen. I don't, I, I do have a few little things in there. It's just not that much. Um, so trying to turn off the light with my elbow. <laughs> Oh, goodness. So, all right. I think while he's asleep, I'm going to try to get some stuff done. I got, I did call Lowe's. They, they were extremely helpful. Let me tell you. Basically, the dryer has sensors inside of it. So, it senses that the clothes are dry, even though they're not fully dry. But some of them are dry. So, therefore, it turned off. <laughs> like, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> The heck so they suggested that I use the time dry option I'm like I'm so frustrated with appliances like I knew getting new washers and dryers I wasn't ever gonna be happy because I just want something that washes and dries clothes I don't need a computer I don't need it to sing to me I don't need it to turn off on its own because it thinks the clothes are dry I need to hit a button and it dry clothes appliances now being computerized and they don't last as long like, my grandma's dryer was still kicking, like, <laughs> for probably 25 years. I mean, that's what I need in my life. I've heard of Speed Queen. I've looked into them. They are outrageously expensive, and we couldn't afford that. So, we can afford a computer, though. I don't know. We probably should have just saved money and done that option because it would last longer. I don't know. Anyways, that's my rant on <laughs> the dryer. <laughs> So I stepped outside for a little bit while the baby was sleeping to peek at my garden because it just makes me a little happy. Anyways, as I'm walking up, the Amazon delivery guy was walking up. But first I saw the van and his van looks like my van. It's a high, not a high top, mid roof for transit. I kind of like startled me at first thinking is Nathan back for a reason is one of the kids get sick, you know, whatever. Anyways, it was Amazon. And he was handing me three packages. And I was like, D I always forget what I order. Always. Okay. Like, it's hilarious. Amazon shows up and I'm like, Nathan's like, what'd you order? And I'm like, I didn't order anything. And then I open, I'm like, oh yeah. And he's like, you do this every time. Does anybody else do that? Is it just me? Is it my mom brain? <laughs> anyway, so yesterday I got a delivery too from Amazon. And Nathan looked at me and I was like, so I've been spending my postpartum ordering stuff on Amazon. And he said, laughed at me. He's like, you did that before you had the baby too. And I was like, yeah, I know. Anyway, so I ordered some stuff on Amazon and I honestly couldn't remember what it was. I did remember I had ordered a shirt last week and it showed up. It was damaged. Okay. Like really damaged. I'm trying to open this with one hand. Um, I had burn holes in it and black marks. Okay. So I reported it, so they sent me the replacement shirt today. And that's, I knew that, I remembered that part, okay? So I'm gonna show you the shirt. <laughs> so I had really liked it whenever it came in and was damaged. I was like, oh, this is like really soft. Let's see if I can set this up here. Um, well, that's not gonna work, is it? There. So it's like really soft material. I just thought it was super cute. Oh, it's V-neck. No, it's not. I don't like v-necks okay no it's not um i was like i just thought that was super cute i don't know so yay this one's not damaged <laughs> i i still have to return the other one but it's like super soft too but then i had a box i'm like i don't remember what i ordered like at all okay so it's always like christmas morning it's always a surprise i'm like what did i order and i'm still like in the package i'm like what the heck is this i had ordered hooks for the towel um, hangers that Nathan's going to make me. That was a, that was a fun surprise. <laughs> Anyways, I'm like, oh my goodness, my mom brain, y'all. All right, so I'm going to try my shirt and see if it fits. 
You wouldn't know this little man has given me a run for my money today, huh? No, I'm wet. You're wet? Yeah. Okay, sit on the potty. No. Yes, yeah, sit on the potty. No. Yeah. So, the kids had a good day at co-op. Um, it, it's now like dinner time. And during nap time, you got it, buddy? You got it? During nap time, Camden and I lay down and took a little nap. I think I slept for about 45 minutes, which was much needed. And waking up, he woke up so fussy. Oh, my goodness. Like, today and last night, he has been unbelievably fussy. So, but he, you, like I said, you wouldn't know it. <laughs> so, a friend of mine just stopped by to pick up the girls. Um... And she was like, oh, I missed this stage. And she was like, but it doesn't stay like this. I was like, yeah, he was just screaming 30 minutes ago. She was like, that's what I need to hear. <laughs> anyway, so the older girls, so my friend was picking up the older girls, Taylor, Addison, and Peyton. And they are gone to their teen girl. It's called Sisterhood at our church um, night. And they are having a fall fun time. Um, huh? Hang on, I'll be right there. Okay. Well, yay. <laughs> so... We, we just always have a lot of stuff happening. Drew just peed in the potty. Say, yay, Drew Drew. Yay, Drew Drew. <laughs> I can't show him because he doesn't have bottoms on. Oh, but so as I was saying, he has been fussy. I really don't want to put him down because he's quiet now. But the kids have been eating dinner in there, and I'm sure it's a mess. So I, I need like to. It. You liked it? So we need to. Not the white cheese one. I like the other one. Yeah. So I need to go see that. But I got to handle Drew right now. He just peed at the potty. Say yay! Camden's very excited. <laughs> I have no idea what was said. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, we're potty training Drew, and he went to the potty on his own and sat on it and peed, which is huge. So, the girls are gone, the older girls, Taylor, Addison, Peyton, at a girl youth event at church, okay? <laughs> Logan soccer practice is normally on Tuesdays. It got moved to today, Monday. And so, Nathan has taken, you okay? Has taken Logan there and Jackson Road with him. So I have, <laughs> so Taylor, Addison, Peyton, Jackson, and Logan are gone. So I have five kids here. Miley, Reagan, Harper, Drew, Kinley. I have six kids here. I have 11 kids now <laughs> in Camden. Oh my goodness. And everything's like always at dinner time. So kids were eating, kids were leaving. <laughs> It's just been a fun-filled time. So now I'm feeding Kinley. Um, Camden is still asleep, thank goodness. And Drew is, well, he did great. He went to the potty. So a friend brought us dinner tonight. It's this taco bake thing. Um, it looks really good. I have not been able to eat yet. Um, several of the kids have eaten. The older girls are actually eating at the sisterhood thing tonight. So she made one with black beans and corn and one without because she wasn't sure how the kids would like it but anyways so that looks delicious and you can top it with like lettuce and tomatoes chips um and she made us some brownies so i'm gonna sit down and eat dinner the little kids that i have here miley reagan harper drew are watching a movie now so i should be able to just sit and eat before the baby wakes up <laughs> that's a tall tale like <laughs> every time mama tries to sit down and eat the baby wakes up, right? Oh, so anyways, I'm going to do that before the baby wakes up. Are you all done? Uh, huh? Did uh, you eat? Uh, Say all done. Uh, all done. Uh, do you want a cup? Are you thirsty? Uh, uh, Back feeding the baby. <laughs> so they're watching a movie. That's what you hear in the background. Um, but I got to end this video. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and keeping me company while the kids were at co-op. And we'll see y'all in the next video.